Hello and welcome to Pen Hero Vlog, the end of week one. Because, yeah, no one on Friday, because we don't have to have a bomb if it's to work. But, yeah, that means that that's what Monday ish. So, let's do this with our first segment, which, oh boy, The Bewildering Bout of the Astounding Automaton, written by Kenny Burley. No, I thought that name. Um, Friday can that fight that. Let's go. So they go to Big Team and Steampunk World, and basically Boone and Larry are inventors who must invent robots for the fight, robots that are for Pen and Rippin. And the interesting gimmick here is that when they get there, we're not built yet. I mean, <laughs> Pen don't exist yet, and they have to build them. And, you know, you know which, you know, which, and then they bond because uh, both Pen and Rippin have that, creating about the thing about the two do in the past, and they bond over that and stuff. Go, so, I do really like the world in the cup of code. It's a theme park world, and I, I like that theme park stuff, and there's a lot of really cool things they do with, you know, really, really cool in the world of Glon, and bring the like thing they come up with, you know, and, and I'm pretty sure I'm professional mental doing a song in the cup of two songs, actually. One of the Fire Part 2, the other Kong, you know, and got nothing over that thing for Kong people can't have a title for, <laughs> but, um, that Kong awesome, but they Kong pretty good too, and I could, I could pretty like me, honestly, I'm surprised be surprised if Morgan, the Kong can exactly like him, so, I guess he's still getting things fun, because you keep peering and stuff like this, <laughs> so, I, um, the team are really cool, and I do like we don't see Rippin' and Pen for most of the episode, that guy, I think that's Bless Blind for Top of the Trap from Liam, who, by the way, Fred mentioned in the Cat and Knock episode, they only speak, they don't speak English in that episode, because the majority of it is just that animal noise gets provided by probably the very big or something. But yeah, so that's really cool. As for the actual story, I like it. Um, we kind of been through this before, because we, we had episodes where are about ripping and and team in the bear. I mean, there are fights in the four uh, boo and then there are got over the club and cover both out the code. Uh, that got felt a little redundant. But specifically, work because it got Boone and um, Larry bonding, which is apparently we don't see that often because, you know, well. Okay, the Kandara will contribute to Skyline, which is not much explanation. She was. She give. She was. I don't. What type of her? Thing to give a mission, but then come out, things shut down, she never appear again. I don't get it either, but I guess you didn't need it for the block. Come on, stop doing that. Uh, uh, hopefully, that's not a continuing problem. Uh, we'll get a lot of few episodes, so hopefully, you know, hopefully, it won't be that type of code. With some title cards, I'm you know, pretty promising. You know, you, you might go, yeah, I feel like preventing from them from being very good is that the main actual comment is clay reaction, did not particularly have it. It's mostly about. Him and, you know, I can't even came up and bit him and Larry Bonding. You know, go that bad deep. But, Dan didn't get too much of a jerk here early. Dan, he bonded in an area where he should go. That could, but I do prefer it for the Tink Pump stuff. And I like how he, if I get big, he rock and rock and roll that. That's really funny. And John got some pretty fun. You got a really cool design for everything. And it, and it won't be able to get a world. And again, Boone is good here. Um, he bonds very, very well, and again, more Larry going great. It's one of the biggest looking of both characters, definitely, because we are three main, major characters of the other. Yeah, we are three major characters of our kind mind. Uh, cool. I think that's a cool angle. Of, of, uh, I do wonder, like, when Penn went into the world, like, how long it before he got built? He could, you know how, how we would have felt not being built? Like, how? I don't know. It's kind of like the question of. The, how the people they drop into the body of feel, which apparently we ain't going to go into. Can't believe we know we're on Tumblr. So we gotta, you just wait two weeks and you'll find out. So, okay. <laughs> so that's pretty good. good. Uh, I like to say about Tough Morgan's story, but Tough Morgan's story is good at least. It just fell a little bit there, done that. But still, I think a pretty good episode. Um, that's really what think about Tough. I think they can battle a lot for the couple of episodes. So, I shall see you for the rest of one second. Okay, now it's time for the second segment. Back to the Path of Future Ball, written by Jeff Pollock. 
<laughs> Got another keyboard code, and this time we go back to Ball World, a world where everyone is either canting at balls some kind or canting at sports equipment. Person. Yeah, the first time we played it called Ball, and it was basically cute to get balls a lot, and it gets um, and it was really funny. So now we have a keyboard code in which, oh boy, um, so apparently Rip and Larry got there early, and used a town machine <laughs> built by a character who by Kurt Armstrong. Um, and they used that to go back to the time of that first episode and prevent the being character from doing what they're doing, but the support equipment taking over. And now, Pen, along with Kurt Armstrong, must go back and try to fix that. Yep, the obligatory time shot go with a world full of balls. And of course, there are a few Back to Future references like the title, although the plot's more like Back to the Future 2, where they go back to the first movie. And of course we have a song that's pretty reminiscent of like, The Power of Love, I believe that's the one that we're taken from. And every time they go through time, we hear a bit of that song. Uh, this is the first time I've ever like, drank coming on camera. <laughs> um, uh, I guess it Um, yeah, I did. Honestly, I was actually paying attention to the episode, so I didn't forgot to take a drink. But anyway, so this one's really fun. Coming. Time travel, so it, it's really confusing. Like, okay, so again, before the couple started, before they pen and friends arrived, they pen, rip an RD time machine to go back, and basically, but pen go back, rip and go follow, go rip and, I don't know, he gets to figure, ah, it's not important that they're going through time. Um, so when he gets there, he sees a past rip in. With and the password and Colonel Armstrong, who it's confusing, but in a funny way. Um, and of course, they address how complicated a uh, keyboard if you can touch out for it, honestly. But, um, you know, so I guess we're gonna be 10 in this game. Um, you know, again, it's very much back to the Um, <laughs> um, yeah, um, the bulk of the, um, one thing. Before the kind of incident to them having to, but before Penn and Kirk Armstrong, he called the Cooper making bouncy ball, and we'll get to him in a minute. Uh, by the way, that guy who I fought with Frank Mantle, yeah, I kept cracking at him. <laughs> Pretty obvious, but I didn't want, you know, I confirmed it. Um, but, um, anyway, so before Penn and Kirk go back in time, uh, Poon and Kashiwiki killed. Or like they're deflated, which basically means we're dead, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, I don't know. Maybe because they're deflated, but they're flat killed, they can look different. God, if you're dying in the game, you don't realize this, or if you die in Ultra Rally, you die in this reality, too. <laughs> um, that, but that's a lot of really interesting kind of game in this tough month. First of all, Kirk Armstrong, well, the guy is naturally funny to me, especially when he's angry, and a lot of the other things do for him to get angry. I think a lot of people call him for being about Kimball and thinking that Cooper or Megan, you know, try, try, a try, a time, they're the time thing, try, you know, they're doing that for your teeth, you know. You know, attaching to, like, a pool table, which is a really cool design, I think, for a time machine. You know, it's no DeLorean, but, you know. I think I'm making more batches around from the upgrade. <laughs> um, um, but, um, basically, basically about getting another episode back to him anger again, because he's big, he's pretty angry and going not to let people make fun of him, get to him. Where he, he, he basically keeps screwing up the mission because he didn't let all the getting folks get to him. And I think I can, even though the simplistic message is okay. I think it's a good, a good one, you know, and some people do kind of go to the, but if you have a single report going on, you probably shouldn't, you know, let stuff get to you, especially when it's just people making fun of you. Like, everyone's quite for a bit where, no, I try not to look more quite for a bit with that, but, uh, it can be very confusing, but the way the plot goes in a good way, and it's pretty, it's probably really funny, like, especially when you get angry, I think you trying to get angry. More. I just keep hearing Dan whenever he gets angry and something, especially in the cup of code. So, like, cool. 
Um, the end, the ending a little lame, though, but the very, very ending joke, they do add trope, it's one trope I don't like, but it's not too bad, though. So overall, this was a particularly fun episode because you got Bong and you have time travel. Two things I love. Wait. <laughs> not many ball jokes in this one. The pen gender just going, Bong, Bong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. They could definitely one more thing keep up because we go back to that. But again, they're clearly inspired by Super 2 in that regard. Like, go back, go back to the first one. So, that, that means if it makes you look up, it will be all the old ones. Well, <laughs> I do want to go back to there. Um, I want to keep up going forward. We won't get any to the world we took in Mickey again. So uh, far, maybe go back to Cat Mastermind again. Um, but yeah, um, Again, the kind of world will talk more interesting than the story, but I said it's one more in this one. I do think the ending guy can take place in a bit, but the couple will be very enjoyable with the time strong antics, the way they bounce off each other, and again, again, crossing timelines, but Ribbon could come out quick time, but we're going both. But this time, but Boom got ring and Boom get killed. But, um, Boom ain't caught like too much, I don't think. He's been kind of running quick time, but Kashi, two up in a row. And I guess, Again, they're trying to fix that problem, but now we're calling it again. I kind of hope they fix that. I guess they didn't have more plot crap, right? Only Pen, or only Boon, or something like that. Um, it, that's a whole episode of Boon game, finally. I think it's fine for me to comment here. <laughs> but gosh, yeah. <laughs> she had a whole episode yesterday, well, I guess it's fine, but still. But overall, uh, both pretty fun to go up. I prefer the second one more. Um, I feel like people are like more of a story than the more of a, um, yeah. Um, and, but, but both I do quite, quite good. They're both pretty good episodes. So, that hit for week one, and I'll see you for week two of, I believe, that three. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Um, anyway, so I'll turn you to on Monday for A Tale to Wigrin Flash, Rockulin, Pepperon, Kizlerin. I don't know how to that. Um. <laughs> but I think I'm going to leave both of our titles. But anyway, I'll see you then. Bye.